is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today i have the best wwe elite figure customs of 2019 thus far we're only three months in we're about three months into 2019 and these are all of the customs that i have made there's only one custom in here that i did not make myself and the rest are all by me hand painted and that's pretty much it guys that's all you need to know and we do have a brand new one which we can get into immediately and it is this custom all white alistair black yes Yes, ma'am, I got an extra NXT Series 4 Target exclusive Alistair Black, and the first thing I thought of when I uh, when the first when it first released, I said I got to get another one of these to make an all white attire, and that's what I did. I you guys saw in WWE Action Figure Surgery, we did replace the lower legs with top ten or no Elite 45 Seth Rollins legs, and then I switched out the kick pads with Elite 63 Shelton Benjamin kick pads, and that is the result. You get the black and gold, you get the white. We put the Elite. 45 Seth Rollins knee pad, so you get the white with the gold trim, and then you get the black trunks, which I've hand painted in white, and then on the back you do get the nice logo of Aleister Black with, uh, you know, the white surrounding it, obviously, and I love it. I think it turned out pretty fantastic. I'm excited for it. I like it a lot, and it looks great. I'm very excited for it, and it goes hand-in-hand -hand with the black version, so that is the only new custom, I believe, that you guys have seen. If you guys follow the channel all the time, this is a, probably the only new custom you guys will see, and it it is the all-white NXT Target exclusive Aleister Black in the fantasy white attire. For the rest of them, guys, I guess we can get into BEW SummerSlam 2018 Finn Balor. I love this figure to death. This is easily one of my favorite figures in my collection. He nailed this. He has the sculpted tongue. It's the it's one of the best demon paints that I think Finn's ever done personally. This is entirely hand-painted by BEW, which I honestly have zero idea how he does it, but he is a magician. We say it all the time here on the channel, and BEW always comes through. I mean, you can see all of this, even the little ribbons on here, the bicep bands he hand-painted hand painted. He hand made those and their cloth and everything. He just knocked this one out of the park. So this is definitely one of my favorite fins in my collection. And BEW had to be represented in here. But the rest are made by me. And I guess we can get into it. We have a pair of Punisher customs, guys. We have Seth freaking Rollins and Jeff Hardy. We got the face paint over here. I don't know how this came to me one day, but it just popped in my head. I said, you know what, Brad? Let's make a face paint Punisher fantasy attire for Jeff Hardy. We got the white gauges in there. You got the Punisher skull in the face. You got some black streaks with white faded into his hair. You got the custom Punisher t-shirt to go along with it. And then underneath here, it's just solid black. You know, Jeff Hardy's regular sleeves. I did hand paint his tattoo on his hand, and I gave him the black nails because, you know, he's a weirdie. And then he's got the all black shoes. He's got the long black pants. And I love this Jeff Hardy. I think he had, yeah, he has the white belt to go with it. And what a fantastic Punisher Jeff Hardy. And the other one we have is Seth Rollins. You see the Punisher vest right here, hand painted. It's got the SR logo and white white black pants got the silver belt buckle got the punisher logo on the knee pad we got the white and black kick pads really simple attire but overall really like it i found this on the community creations on 2k so i had to bring it to life again i don't know who the artist was that originally made the seth but i put the top talents arms on there to match it all together and this is easily one of my favorite sets in my collection next up we have another seth freaking rollins and it is the chicago bears 2019 royal rumble attire which he did wear on monday night raw last night if you guys watch that you got Seth Rollins you got all his good stuff the navy the orange the white going all around the last time you guys saw this figure I don't think the chest hair was on there I did add that in pencil we had to put the top talent Seth Rollins head scan on there to complete it and that is pretty much it for the top talent Seth Rollins this actually got February's custom of the month so I am happy to announce that on the channel we got custom of the month with that Royal Rumble Rollins next up we have the one and only ricochet custom hand painted by yours truly I did get the head cast from Mad Reaper and I had to make my man Ricochet. He is one of my favorite NXT talents. He's now on the main roster pretty much, and I think he is here to stay. I know he has maybe a few more matches in NXT to do. He has the Dusty Rhodes Classic that he's still competing in, and then he has probably TakeOver. I'm sure he'll be on that card. So Ricochet is looking fantastic. All of these tattoos are hand-painted. The head scan is hand-painted. We have really good parts on this. If you guys would like to know the full details of the figure, you can go watch. I think it's like a Superstar Inc. video. We feature Ricochet and Kevin Owens back here and I go over all the parts and all of that stuff but Ricochet's looking good I'm pretty proud of that Ricochet custom never thought I would have him in my collection but lo and behold here he is next up we have a couple customs we have a Elimination Chamber of AJ Styles this is the 
blue attire. This is actually the Survivor Series Elite, but we did rearrange the kick pads. You got the solid blue kick pads. He did have white outsoles on that night, and it's a pretty simple custom, but I love it. I threw the knee pads on there. We switched out these kick pads, gave them the blue, gave them the white outsoles, and it looks freaking sweet. We also added the Elite 66 head skin, which looks fantastic or phenomenal, I should say. I think we, we even added the black details in the belt. I could be wrong about that, but I think we did add the blue details to the belt, and that is it. This The Survivor Series Elite already had the black details going through the pants, but I think we added that belt, we added the kick pads, of course, and the white outsoles. The next custom we're gonna hit up is the updated Kevin Owens. Yes, all we did was took the Elite Series 66 Kevin Owens, and then we took an Elite 47 Kevin Owens, switched out the legs because these are the shorts that he wore upon return turning. The only thing that's not accurate about it is the white wrist tape, but the rest is solid. We did custom paint all of his new tattoos on here. You got the bird, you got the gorilla, you got the alligator on the back, and you do have the panda on his inner bicep. So hopefully he get, doesn't get any more ink because I don't want to tattoo the rest of his arms there. But Kevin Owens, one of my favorite wrestlers, I had to update him and give him all the good stuff. So he is updated, he is looking good, and he had a fantastic triple threat match at Fastlane. Best match on the card, hands down. Another Kevin Owens is coming up, guys. We have two more in this video. I guess we can take a look at them at the same time that way, you know, because uh, they're not very much different. But I made these like a day apart. I took the Elite Series 63, I think it was, was Kevin Owens, I believe it was Elite Series 63, the one with the red KO and the terrible short-haired head skin, and I painted all of the red on that figure in pink to match the MDT Live because he is the current in MDT Extreme Champion. I painted over all the red and pink. It looks very clean and I love it a lot. I had to add the pink kick pads just because it tops it all off. You know, he's sort of, when he changes up colors, he did it at Money in the Bank. He did it at SummerSlam one year and so I figured he would wear some pink kick pads if he were to wear this attire. And after, like the day after I made this one, I took my Elite, one of my extra Elite 53 Owens and I painted over the logo and added Kevin Owens Live instead of Kevin Owens Show because it's MDT Live, obviously, and not Monday Night Raw. So that's what I did there. You got two different Kevin Owens options if I wanted to rock one or the other attire. Next up, guys, we have a ton of Finn Balors. Like, we have an absolute just monsooning of Finn Balor figures here. I think it is eight to be exact. I'm going to get them all up here first before we go through them, but uh, I guess we can start off with, I think this is Money in the Bank 2018 Finn Balor, or it's 2017. I can't remember. I think it's 2018, but it is the, the navy and red attire that's like sort of Spider-Man. You got the BC logo on the back, got all the good stuff. We got the glitter going on and everything. Really love this attire when he wore it. We have one of his red attires that he wore at Survivor Series 2017, I do believe. We have his No Mercy attire where he took on Bray Wyatt. He's worn this a couple of other, other times. You got all the different gray tones in there. We have his NXT TakeOver UK Blackpool attire in the black. You got the black BC. You got sort of some New Japan roots going on. White kick pads, gold details, black designs on the back. We have his... Extreme Rules 2017 attire in the black and gunmetal gray that he took on Trash Corbin. Nice good details going on there. We have his custom live event all white attire. He's never worn this on television, but it is one of my favorite attires. Just threw some parts together. It is more of a fix-up than a custom, but it still works for me. We have his Royal Rumble 2018 attire in the sort of darkish red color where he should have won the Royal Rumble, but you know it is what it is. We got Shinsuke Nakamura, which, you know, if we knew then what we know now, then I would have definitely picked in there. You know, he entered at number two, I think, and he was the Iron Man of that Rumble, and he looked great. And then the last Finn Balor that we have is another non-demon, and it is his Elimination Chamber 2018 attire in the Royal Blue. Got the black on there, the BC logos. Everything looking nice. I love all these Balors. I still have a ton of extra Top Talents Balors to make customs, but I think I just burnt myself out on the beginning of the year, and I want to make some demons and stuff, so I may get away from the non-demons for a little bit, but we'll, we'll definitely bring them back. Moving all of these Finn Balors all at once to the back, guys. We're going to get into the last figures in here for 2019's custom figures so far that are the best. We have this Cedric Alexander fix-up, which again is more of a fix-up than a custom, but it looks so good. I love the torso swap, man. It just looks so nice with that ripped torso, that Kofi Kingston torso onto the Cedric Alexander Elite 67. You can't beat it. And then we do have Velveteen Dream, which is another fix-up. We did put that Elite Series 63 Shelton Benjamin torso on there, and it makes that figure look a ton better as well. If you guys missed us switching those parts, definitely go check out WWE 
action figure surgery episode number 20. It was a really big episode, a lot of great swaps on there, and we went through all the processes of how to torso crack and everything like that, so definitely go check that out, but that is all of the best WWE Elite Figure Customs in my collection of 2019 thus far, guys. We have a ton more customs to work on, a lot more customs. Before the end of 2019, this is probably going to be tripled or quadrupled because we're only one fourth of the way through the year so you know once we get through the other fourths of the year it's going to be insanity we'll probably fill up this whole entire backstage with customs if i keep up the rate that i'm going but thank you guys so very much for watching i want to know down below what your favorite custom is is it the seth rollins punisher is it the jeff hardy punisher ricochet one of the finn Balors, the bw Balor? is it the ricochet the alistair black all white fantasy let me know down in the comment section below guys thank you so much for watching subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe figure videos and i will see you guys in the next video, thank you.